I'm going to go over something very interesting today. I'm going to go over abandoned carts within Shopify. Now, abandoned carts are something that happens quite often, especially now that mobile has taken over such a huge part of e-commerce. And the reason for that is people will go on their mobile phone and do their shopping. And then they'll get to the checkout procedure, they'll think about it, and then they'll come home and on their desktops, they'll complete the process. There's a couple reasons for that. Number one, it's easier to actually complete the process at their house because they have all of their payment information and their shipping information already stored in their browser. The other thing is too, there's a lot more security um, comfort with uh, your desktop computer. Um, this, is, this is changing with Apple Pay and, and fingerprint uh, sign outs, but uh, at the moment this is where people are, um, are completing most of their purchases. Now one of the things that you can do to increase your sales is setting up abandoned cart reminders so that when someone does go and put something into their cart it stays in their cart and then uh, 24 hours later if they haven't completed their purchase say they got distracted or they they've um, you know forgotten about it it will send them an email saying hey just a reminder this is still in your cart you should maybe go and click on the checkout button when they're back at their computer let's jump over to the screen right now and we'll go over exactly how to set everything up so one of the things that is quite prevalent in online e-commerce is abandoned carts. Now I think we've all been there when uh, we've been online shopping, we've been finding a product that we like, so I've been shopping around, I've had a look at this umbrella, it has everything that I want, um, and then I add it to my cart, and I go through to the checkout procedure, and I get through the checkout procedure, and I usually go and do this in order to see what the total price is going to be. I want to see what... Uh, the calculated shipping is going to be cost, I'm going to see what the taxes are. I want Everybody wants to know what the final amount that they're going to pay is, especially when they're browsing around. One of the things that um, can really hinder this is, I know for me personally, one of the things that I do quite often is I'll be browsing on my mobile device and I will find, I'll come across a store and I'll find a product that I like and I'll add it to the cart. Um, and then what I will plan on doing is coming back later when I'm at my computer and then going through the checkout procedure when I'm at the computer. And the reason I do that is because my payment information is stored in my computer, which it's not stored in my phone yet. So this is where abandoned checkout recovery is really important. Now, if you're in Shopify, it's super easy to find. Um, you simply go to the dashboard and you click on orders, and then you click on abandoned checkouts. And what you'll see is you'll see abandoned checkouts. So the way Shopify works is if a customer has logged in at any point. So I put my customer email address in here and I hit continue to shipping method. As soon as I've done that, it grabs that information and it creates an abandoned checkout that it holds onto. So now if I close this browser window and I go back to my abandoned checkouts and I refresh this page, you'll see that my checkout has shown up on the abandoned orders checkout. Now I can click on the link and it will actually take me to the order and you can see exactly what I put in there. I can email the order to the, um, the client. I can send a recovery email, all sorts of things. You can see exactly what they were looking at. So now that you know what abandoned carts are, we need to set them up within your Shopify dashboard. One thing to keep in mind is abandoned cart recovery is only available on the medium and up plan with Shopify. It's not available on the basic plan. The idea is, is that when you start getting into the medium and the more advanced features and you're starting to optimize your store a little bit more, that's when abandoned cart becomes more, um, more useful to you. It's not something that you're really going to worry about right off the bat, although you probably should. So to get there, you want to go to settings and then you want to go to notifications. Under notifications, if you're on the correct plan, you will get the correct uh, order notifications right now called abandoned cart. So we can click on abandoned checkout and we can see the HTML that we can set up here for um, abandoned checkouts. So this notification is a little bit different than um, the one that you have in your standard notifications. It's HTML only. Because it has to contain links for people to, uh, to complete their purchases, they don't have a plain text version. So um, you can see this is my order that has been set up. Um, you can customize, you can add your logo in that. 
The other thing you need to do is you need to set it up so that it actually sends it. So to do that, what we're going to do is if we go back to notifications, there's a link here that says checkout settings. And when you go to the checkout settings, what it's going to do is it's going to take you over to your checkout settings where you can set up. So if the customer abandons your checkout, send them an email reminder to complete their order. Right now I have it set to never, so they're never gonna get that order. You can do one hour later, which is typically recommended, six hour later, not recommended, 10 hours later, which is recommended, or 24 hours later. The idea is that you're trying to catch them when they're most likely back at their machines. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if it was helpful. Remember, you can always book a call with me in the link provided down below. And I'm hoping you guys have yourself a wonderful week. Talk to you next time.